all right what's up guys so this is a little overview of a single turbo v10 that i created um it's just a little quick cad design so none of these parts actually work it's just for just a quick cad pretty much you know so yeah so what you see i'll explain it how it actually looked like if i did it correctly but either way so yeah so this utilizes a hot v setup so where the turbo charges in the center of the v kind of like what mercedes does and instead of the intake in the middle it's on the sides and the exhaust manifolds on the inside hence the hot v but yeah this is a pretty unique turbo because it's just a single turbo which you can find currently in the audi s4 or the b9 generation uses a single turbo v6 I'm pretty sure um, acura does it now with their tlx um, type s so yeah it's pretty neat you don't need two turbochargers you just need one kind of like an inline engine where can you, they can go with with one turbocharger with the v you kind of got to use this style so this is what the turbocharger looks like so um just a disclaimer this is the compressor this is the turbine um the compressor now that i think about it it should be just one but somehow i was thinking about something but either way it should just be one outlet so you can disregard this one and you can make it how it flows through like that but um, let me start from the front and go from the back. So the front is a carbon fiber intake duct, fully made of carbon fiber. Um, this is the cross section area of the front, which is where the front grille would be. And this technically would be a front mid engine layout, kind of like a Lexus LFA, but turbocharged. So yeah, so the air would grow through this front duct right here. And then this duct will converge to a circular pipe, which I believe this is a four inch and then that would go into the turbo compressor side and it's connected with a silicone coupler you can't really use v-band so that's why you could just use the silicone coupler and this silicone coupler has a step on it so let me show a cross-sectional area so there's a little step inside the coupler which kind of makes a smooth transition. Um, the diameter, the thickness of the carbon fiber is different from this, but you can see from the compressor where it's smooth like that, it should be the same for this, but I'm not sure why I changed the thickness, but either way. And then we'll go to the compressor side. So like I said, it should just be only one. If it's one, you can, the pipe will be, go out and split into a Y pipe, which splits into the two banks. But say I did two, so each can go its separate route to the air to water intercooler that I was gonna use. And then this cartridge right here, and then it goes to the turbine. So the turbine has two inlets. Um, again, this is just design in theory, but if I were to do it again, this side is okay, but I would make this side a bit angled this side, not like a hard 90 here. With, it'll make it a much smooth transition. And all these parts are mirrored, so in reality, it wouldn't be the same exact part, but I just mirrored it for simplicity. But yeah, this one, this side, the right side takes much a smoother path. So it goes in like that. On the left side, it's a bit kind of restricted due to this 90 degree right here. But if I were to angle right here, it would make too much sense, but yeah. So the exhaust manifold, again, it's not equal length. It's just for basic design. Actually, a lot of OEs don't really do equal length, but if you're doing aftermarket, it should be equal length. But yeah, and then this is the downpipe right here. Um, for now, I just have it as a hood exit. Um, ideally, it would be like a downpipe exactly, so it goes down and goes to the exhaust system. But yeah, so this is pretty much the design. It's a pretty cool setup. Um, hopefully, someone could do it. I'm not sure anyone has the balls to turbocharge a Lexus LFA, but it's all about the money. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this. Um, I'll show some more stuff that I have, but once I kind of clean this up and make it realistic and do actually actual simulations, um, it'll look much better and kind of make more sense. But for now, it, the flow is a bit constricted right now, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you drive your dream car.